We start with breaking news tonight. More than 100 Seattle police officers are suing the city and the Justice Department. They say that new use of force policies put them in danger. Como Force Joel Marino is live in Seattle with the breaking developments. Joel? Uh, Molly and Eric, we just got a copy of that complaint. And what it says is that the uh, new use of force policies that officers have to follow when they use force against a suspect, well, it actually puts the officers themselves at great risk. Now, the Department of Justice ordered these reforms after the Seattle Police Department was found to engage in a pattern of misconduct. But officers say the remedy is unconstitutional. Now, as far as that complaint that was just filed today, it is uh, filed on behalf of some 126 officers who say they can't protect themselves on the street if these DOJ-mandated policies are followed. Now, the officers say it, that this uh, use of force policy violates the second, the fourth, the fifth, and the 14th amendments of the Constitution. Uh, they go on to say that the complaint gives no consideration to the circumstances that officers routinely face, and it also places limits on tools they routinely use, like batons and pepper spray, among others. And all of that together could end up getting officers seriously injured or killed. Now, we spoke to the Police Officer Guild president about this last week. It's overly complicated. I've heard from many, many of my members that they're, they're concerned, and it's causing people to hesitate. And not only when, when a police officer hesitates, he or she's not only at risk, the public at large is at risk. Now, the uh, complaint names as defendants the city of Seattle, Mayor Ed Murray, the city attorney, the police chief, the federal monitor, Merrick Bob, as well as the U.S. Attorney General. Now, under the settlement agreement that the city made with the Department of Justice, the city must comply with these provisions in order to move out of the uh, consent decree that it's under. But it, t it appears that right now officers are trying to take this into their own hands to try to reshape the reforms that are being done, and they hope to get their day in court on this matter. Reporting live here in Seattle, Joel Marino, Como 4 News. Joel, thank you. The